Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This your girl Kitara, aka Mini Lie, aka Sunflower Fairy, aka Third Eye Butterfly with another video for y'all. And we hopping straight in, okay? And as you can see, I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing a voiceover. Um, this is my first time doing this voiceover or just doing something like this, so I am going to run straight through it. If I mess up, hey, this is my first time. You know, I'm just going to embrace the experience. <laughs> so I'm starting off by doing my brows. I put concealer on the top and bottom because I wanted them to be extra crispy today. Usually I don't put concealer at the top, but you know, that's just what we're doing today. I'm going in with my foundation. Y'all, my foundation routine never changes. Really, my entire face routine never changes. So um, this will probably be the last video where I just post how I just go through my face routine because... Like I said, it never changes. Until it does, or if it does, then I'll update it. But as for right now, it's probably going to be the last one where I just show me going through the face. So right now, I'm just blending out my foundation. And after I blend out that foundation, I'm going to go in with some concealer under the eyes. And I'm using two different shades. And both of these are the Age Rewind from Maybelline. Everything will be in, just in the description box. <laughs> so yeah. Just taking that under the eyes and I'm going to blend that out with a beauty sponge. And I actually got this sponge from um, Forever 21. I used to work there so I got a lot of stuff from Forever 21. All my lip glosses that I use are from Forever 21. Mainly because I really, really like uh, the pigmentation. I like the way they apply. They're not too sticky. They last a long, long time and they're cheap. They're like $2.99 per gloss and they work really 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 good so I highly recommend but yeah just blending that out and after I blend that out I'm gonna take a lighter concealer and put that under the eyes as well and I'm also putting concealer on my eyelids because I'm putting on eyeshadow and I want the color to really show up and really pop Um, and the shades that I'm using are in Golden and Neutralizer, I believe. If I'm wrong, like I said, everything will be in the description. I like blending with concealer a few shades lighter in my skin tone and then going in with a lighter one because I really really like a bright under eye I really love how it looks it's not necessary you know you don't have to do this this is just what I like to do personally and that's what works for me and that's what life is about doing what works for you doing what you love because if not you're not really gonna be fulfilled right <laughs> and I'm taking my airspun powder and putting that in the areas where I put concealer of course under the eyes on the bridge of the nose all of that good stuff and I know you know people don't be really baking no more they just set but I'm gonna bake I'm gonna bake forever until I feel like I don't need to anymore Now I'm just setting the rest of my face with a pressed powder to set all of my foundation so that it don't move. It don't move. <laughs> you know what? I don't even really feel like these are tutorials. I'm really just showing what I do. I'm putting that pressed powder over my eyelids too to set that. I wouldn't even call it a tutorial. I just, I'm just showing y'all how I do my makeup really. If you want to do it, that's up to you, but I just like creating. So that's really what I'm showcasing. It's not necessarily a tutorial in my eyes. 
I just like to show you guys <laughs> how I do my makeup because I do a lot of different looks because that's what I enjoy. I'm taking a light, like a mix between brown and orange. I said like a burnt orange shade and packing that all over my lid on both sides. And then I'm going to blend it up a little bit just so that I don't leave any harsh lines. And now I'm taking some concealer with my finger and putting it in the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm going to take a brush and further blend that out too. And the reason I'm putting concealer right here is because I'm putting a white eyeshadow. I'm putting a white eyeshadow on my inner corner. And I really want that white to pop. And y'all going to see throughout the video, like I keep packing that white on throughout the video just because I feel like, I don't know, when I wear white eyeshadow, sometimes I feel like it doesn't pop as much as I would like. Like, when I first put it on, like here, it's really, it's really showing up. But the further I get into my makeup, I feel like it just washes out. So maybe next time I should use like a lighter shade of concealer or maybe a white base to help it pop or maybe even just change the eyeshadow all together to a different brand of white so that it's not as chalky maybe and just more pigmented but yeah y'all gonna see me continuously packing this white on throughout the video <laughs> now i'm putting on my liquid liner to create my wing and when i do my wing i do one step at a time on each eye just to make sure everything is even I feel like that's what works best for me because if I don't it won't come out bad it just won't be as symmetrical as I would like I take my time when I do my eyes like that wing is very important to me <laughs> and after I get both sides even like I like I just fill it in and that's all there is to it here I am packing some more white on Y'all, <laughs> this was a bit irritating. I'm not going to lie. But hey, I was I was determined to get this look the way that I wanted. Putting on mascara. Let me know what you guys think about this voiceover. Like I said, this is my first time. So <sighs> it's giving me a little, I wouldn't say anxiety. No, it's not giving me anxiety. It's just, it's just new. So I feel like I'm being overly tedious okay now I'm putting black eyeliner in my waterline and then after this oh okay yeah so I actually do this in every makeup look it doesn't matter if I'm doing a wing liner like on the top of my eyelid or not I do this with every look I feel like it just elongates my eye and makes it look more <laughs> like feline like and just makes my eyes look more elongated and I really like that in the words of Nicki Minaj who wants to look simple when you can look you know stunning <laughs> so now I'm brushing off that powder and then after I brush off this powder what am I doing I think I'm putting on my powder contour maybe am I Oh no, I'm not even. <laughs> See, okay, I'm filling in my brows again because I feel like when I put that powder on, it got washed out. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm taking 
some black liquid liner and just putting a line up to the middle of my bottom waterline. You know, creating something and taking some black eyeshadow and kind of smoking that out so that the line doesn't look so thin and scraggly. <laughs> Now I'm taking some red eyeshadow and I'm smoking that on my bottom lash line. And I'm going to also smoke it out on that line that I just created too. Just to smooth everything out. And then what I'm actually going to do is end up um, smoking it up towards the wing that I created as well. Because I want this look to be really grunge and semi-dramatic so yeah there we go blending it on that line here i am dragging this up and you guys i'm sorry if i <laughs> if i sound a little stuffy i am a little congested my allergies have been acting up for the past two days so if I sound a little stuffy that's why yeah here we are blending everything and making it seamless I'm going back in with more eyeliner because why I guess the the red washes out a little bit and I'm taking it on that line as well Here I am putting mascara on the bottom and are lashes coming next? I don't even know. Hopefully lashes are coming next. Or maybe, oh, more white, you guys. <laughs> more white, wow. It just was not popping like I wanted. I had to keep packing it on. Okay, so we're not doing lashes next. We're picking out jewels. So I got these jewels from, where did I get these? I think I got these jewels from the Dollar Tree. No cap though, I freaking love the Dollar Tree. As far as the arts and crafts section goes, you know, you can't get everything from Dollar Tree because, you know, you get what you pay for. But <laughs> other than that, I freaking love the Dollar Tree. I raid the arts and crafts section because they got really good stuff. Everything's a dollar. The main thing I go to the Dollar Tree for is <laughs> snacks because everything's a fuck. Mm, excuse me. Let me watch my language. Everything's a dollar. <laughs> and the arts and crafts section because they have really nice stuff. So I'm putting these jewels right here. Oh, and I actually ended up taking these jewels off at the end of the video because I just felt like. They were giving clown vibes, <laughs> and that's just not what I was going for. So, yeah. Y'all gonna see at the end, I ended up taking these off. But here I am putting my quote-unquote powder contour on. I used to cream contour way back when, but um, these days, I just don't feel like it's necessary personally. So, I just put powder on. And it, I don't put a specific powder contour on. I usually just use eyeshadow and blush. So, here I am. I saw this on... Pinterest it was either Pinterest or TikTok but basically you take the end of your mascara wand and then you just dot it on your face where wherever you want to put it and it just gives this grunge look and I really like that and I decided to try it and I'm glad that I did because it came out pretty cool and I liked it and I will definitely be incorporating this more into some of my makeup looks so yeah now I'm putting on lashes okay <laughs> one year later <laughs> so I'm putting on these lashes that I got from Amazon and I get all of my lashes from Amazon like I just type in um 3d mink lashes and I just buy like a whole tray I buy like a tray of 20 for like $12 something like that but yeah I get all my lashes from Amazon and I'm putting these bottom lashes on. Oh, and here's a little a little trick. 
I cut up like a pair of lashes and then I use that as bottom lashes. So I don't buy bottom lashes. I mean, I'm not going to tell that a lot. Sometimes I do, but that's on rare occasions. If I just see something like, ooh, I like this, then I'll get them. But usually I just cut up a pair of lashes that are already made and use that for my bottom lashes. Okay, now I'm just dotting random dots <laughs> all over my face. And these count as faux freckles. I do faux freckles in every makeup look. If I don't do them, I don't feel complete. And that's just what's going on in my life right now. <laughs> I have to do faux freckles in every look. And when I do them, I start off with a black liquid liner. And then I go in with a dark brown lip pencil. And I like to use lip pencils because um, I feel like they're more creamy, they're creamier, and they are more pigmented. And when they're creamy and pigmented, I feel like it's easy for me to blend it in. So I just put more lashes on the bottom and now I'm taking that lip pencil and putting more faux freckles all over. I have freckles in real life, but I mean, this is real life. What? Let me rephrase that. <laughs> I have natural freckles, um, but they don't, they show, but I still, I still like to do full freckles because my foundation and concealer covers them up. So I'm taking some more jewels and these are in a pearl design and I got these from the Dollar Tree as well. So now I'm taking that same lip pencil and this is from Ruby Kisses and I'm lining my lips and I actually got this hack from Pinterest as well but you're supposed to use a q-tip so I feel like it was a fail for me because I didn't use a q-tip plus my mouth was open so like maybe that's why I didn't come out right <laughs> but when you do that it's supposed to make like the perfect line on your lips from corner to corner but yeah it was a fail for me so I just ended up lining them regularly like I do and every time I line my lips, I use a dark brown and then I go in with a black and put it on the outer edge just so that my lips are more defined when I get ready to put my lip color on. So yeah, here I am putting some more. And this black is actually an eye pencil. Y'all, I don't be using stuff correctly all the time, but I really don't care because it's makeup and makeup is supposed to be fun and creative. So, And I'm taking some clear gloss. And putting it on my lips oh my gosh you guys I love my lips this day I felt like the gloss was just so juicy on my lips my lips look so plump and so juicy and I got this lip gloss from my local beauty supply store y'all already know what kind of lip gloss this is this is the um the rosehip oil y'all know what I'm talking about if you get lip gloss from the beauty supply store you know exactly what gloss I'm talking about but yeah I really like this combo today on the lips look at it ooh Ooh, so juicy, yes. Ooh, so pouty. I'm putting more of these pearl jewels on my face. So now I have them in the middle of my eye at the bottom on my brow bone and right here on the bridge oh you guys I put them right there because I I want my actual bridge pierced <laughs> um so I just put them right there to see how it would look and I really liked how it looks so I may just pre I may just pierce my bridge and I'm gonna do it myself I do all my piercings myself okay get it right come on get, get it right there we go. So yeah, ooh. Now I'm just spraying that face down with my Maybelline setting spray. Am I done? No, oh my gosh, that damn white. Here we go, putting more white on. <laughs> Look at 
this is the finished look this is the finished product and now i'm gonna go find something to do to my hair and then put my clothes on so y'all can get the full aesthetic you feel me so look actually I ended up taking the red jewels off just because I feel like it was too much with the <laughs> it was too much with the look so it's just looking like this now so hey we lit though we out here though